What's up, everybody? Well, oh my god. Welcome back to Great X Gaming. I am Jax, and we are back with In Verbis Virtus, and let's go. Diving right... Oh, come, come, there we go. Diving right back in. Let's pick up the pace. I am sorry this video is late. Uh, life has been kind of crazy recently, but let's do it. Uh, as soon as we load. As soon as we load. There we go. Where? What am I doing again? Oh, lag. I'm lagging. Up. Uh, Tial, oh da. That's, I believe, the deadly maze. The deadly, deadly maze. That's where I came from. So, up here. Aha. Tial, oh da. I made a shimmery thing. <clears throat> Don't know what that shimmery thing does. Obi, canoe. Nope. Um. Um. So. Obi, canoe. Nope. Oh! Tial, Uda! Am I. What happened? Where. What? Um. There we go. I was stuck. Tial, Uda! What does that do? Tial, Uda! Wait a minute. Obi, Kenu. Obi, Kenu. Oh, wait a minute. Obi, Kenu. Come on. Obi, Kenu. What is the... There seems to be a source of water in that tunnel, but I can't get there. If I don't know how to get hit there yet, there's no point in wasting time here. <laughs> the game literally just saying, dude, fuck off for now. Oh, pun. Oh, B. Nope. Yep, I literally cannot do anything here right now. Oh, B. Canoe. Well, okay. Sure. Bye. Hello. What's the spell? Uh, Yega Mide. I saw sun, and it opened up my eyes, and now I have health. There we go. Can I not get out of here now? Lume, Tial. Oh, hello! Hey you, reading this. My name is Misa. I am 10 years old and I live with my mom and dad in the White City. Every day I have fun watching my dad work. He is so useful to everybody. He gives people good food to eat and they love him. Hey you, reading this. My name is Misa. I am 10 years old and I live with my mom and dad in the city. Every day I have fun watching my mom working. She is so useful to everybody. She cures people and they love her. Hey you, reading this. My name is Misa. I am 10 years old and I want to be useful like my mom and dad. That way people will love me too, but I don't know how to do anything. Today I decided to go around and see if I can be useful to anyone. I walked to the market streets all morning shouting, I can be useful, but nobody paid me any attention. All afternoon I walked to the streets shouting, I can be useful, but nobody paid me any attention. All evening, nobody need, nobody cared for me. On the way home I saw a father and child found a fountain. I wanted to give it a last try, so I said, I can be useful. The father and child turned around. Finally I thought, maybe I can be useful to them. Oh, what fortune. I'd almost given up hoping finding a child for my son, said the father with hope in his eyes. It seems there aren't any more children in town. They've all gone home. Would you like to have dinner with us this evening? It would make my son so happy. Finally had the chance to be useful. I was overcome with joy. I couldn't hold it in, and I skipped along beside them as I listened to the boys' questions. So we arrived at their house. What a lovely house, big on two floors with high ceilings. Do you want to make yourself useful, Misa? Asked the father at the table. Sure, that's what I want the most. 
That way everyone will love me, I answered cheerfully. Good, you'll get along well with my son. Soon. He really needs someone like you. His words made me happier than I ever felt before. I am here with the boy now. Finally, I'm useful. Finally, people love me. Finally, I'm fine, happy. Now, reader, I'm sorry, but I can't write anymore. The little boy has just finished tasting my intestines, and now he would like to try a little of my arm. Actually, I don't feel up to writing, but it doesn't matter because I'm useful. Oh, God. Okay! That's fucked up. Ow. Okay. Before I do anything, I'm going to save at the save point. That way, if I die, I'll start with full health. Yes, overwrite. Bleh. Uh... Agni, Atum. Atul, Agni. Alright, and then... Uh, I can't remember how to blow it up. Uda, no tab. Atul, Agni. Woo, I'm dying. Uda, no tab. Hello. Ow. God, that is painful. You got me there. Thank God for water, huh? Atul Agni Atul Agni Atul Agni Ada no te Uda no tem Atul Agni Now let's go and heal while I wait for that to have a charge, because they have to charge to do most damage. Ow. Ow. You got me there. Uda, no ten. Goodbye, motherfucker. You got me there. Woo! Atul, Agni. Atul, Agni. You got me there. You got me there. You got me there. There we go. Uda, no ten. You got me dead. Nope, I can't heal on that. Okay, I have no idea what happens if I stand on that. Uh, what if I, if I stand on this? Um, sure. Okay. Let's save. I have a feeling we've reached another puzzle. On the plus side, I can kill those bastards now, which is fucking fantastic. Alright, uh. You got me dead. I need to find things to put on these. Which means... Back into the maze of death! Ow. You got me dead. Closed off door. Dead end? Probably a dead end. Let's find out. Nope, not a dead end. Atul, Agni. You got me dead. You got me dead. Alright, what have I got here? I hate this place, guys. I fucking hate this place. Hep, 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 hep. Are you serious? Son of a bitch! You got me dead. So that was the place we were in two episodes ago. Atul, Agni! Whoop! How you doing, buddy? Yeah? Uda, no tem! Uda, no tem! Later, bitch! You got me dead. 
It's a fucking maze, and I hate it. It's a maze of death. Um, pardon? Oh, fuck yourself! Here you go, me dead. OB, canoe. Nope. Really? You got me there. Atul, Agni. You got me there. Nobody here. Don't mind me. Just sitting in this pool of water. Oh, da, no tem. Later. You got me D. Woo. I wish I had a map. That would be really. Oh, I look at him twitching. God damn it. If this is the same exact friggin' doorway. Worse, it's a dead end. <sighs> OB, can you? Nope, worth a try. Fucking shit. You know? Oh, that's my flesh burning. You got midi. I don't know where I am. You got me dead. Wait a minute. God damn it. You got me dead. You got me dead. I'm back here. <laughs> Game! You got me dead. You got me dead. There we go. Let's go this way. Fuck it. Eventually, I'll figure out the layout to this place. You got me dead. You got me dead. You got me dead. There we go. Woo! Oh, good. Oh, good. Doors open. This is different. All right, let's see what's under onward under the bed. Let's see what's this way. God damn it! I'm bad with words today. Holy crap! Oh, okay. Lumet, to y'all. Really? Hold on. Okay, we're back. Sorry about that. Uh, Lumet, to y'all. Whoa! Oh crap! Ecto! Lumet! Ecto! Lu uh. Nope! Lumet, to y'all. Ecto! Lume! Ecto! Lume! What the fuck? Lume! To y'all! Well, that's horrifying. Y'all, Uda. Uh. I don't like this. This is creepy as fuck. This is not what I signed up for. 
Tial Uda. Really? It's not. Tial Uda. Tial Uda. Fuck if I know what I just did. Oh, that's a dead end. Why is there sobbing? Oh god, I don't like this. Tial Uda. Tial Uda. What the fuck is this shit? What? What? What just happened? What? Tial Uda. Tial Uda. Uda. Oh, uh, right. Uh, Lume Tial. Lume Tial. Fuck! Lume Tial. I think one of those wispy things hit me. God, this is fucking horrible. You know, when I signed up for this game, I didn't expect this. No! You stay over there. The sky was darkening on Valtari. The night was knocking at the door and was carrying shadows and suspects. The woman was running, hiding at every junction and taking care not to be noticed. When she arrived at the home of her beloved, she climbed the stairs with desire and trepidation, imagining the emotions that a little later she would have felt. Strangely, he was already in bed. He didn't greet her with hugs or words, but only invited her approach, gently gesticulating in the darkness of the room. She had no second thoughts, gotten dressed, and climbed in the bed, starting to kiss and satisfy him until morning. The first... The first light of the sun entered into the room and she opened her eyes, happy as ever. She turned to look at her man, but when she saw made her freeze, she had spent the night with her husband. She was horrified, aware of having been discovered, and jumped off the bed while her heart was pounding. Her consort, Lord Voltari, and a superior member of the Order of Eustitia, observed her with inquisitive eyes. Through the door came the guards that immobilized her. Please, I beg you, I will not do it again. I am yours. I'm sorry. No, you will not do it again, answered the man. The guards grabbed the woman and ordered her to the Temple of Order. Once they got her, the later saw her lover being held there. He was covered in blood, his body was brewed, he had a tired look, but his face was healthy, it hadn't been touched, and it was this that terrified her more than anything else. In the name of Eustitia, your actions will have right consequences. At this word, the two prisoners were placed in two separate cages. Your unhealthy desire for one another, which has brought you to break a promise and steal the affection of others, has brought you to this. In the name of Eustitia, you will both remain in those cages, suspended in midair. You cannot touch, kiss, or ever be with one another, and a glass will be placed between the two cages to prevent you from talking to one another. And in the name of Eustitia, you will never die. The two prisoners froze. You are condemned to look at and desire each other forever without being able to touch or talk to one another. Your time is frozen to this time. His physical pain will never leave him and will torment him forever, fueling her emotional pain. You will not be able to hate or grow tired of each other, nor avoid suffering until they reset everything and all the universe will end. They were dropped into the darkness with only a light coming from above that allowed them to look at each other, and between them the glass which prevented from hearing what the other said. They screamed for hours, days, weeks. They never got tired, the voices never faded, but nevertheless they could not hear each other. They cried. They were allowed to do this, and continued crying for longer than any mortal mind can imagine, and their cry still echoes, reaching the- DEAR GOD!
Well, that explains the crying, I guess. Holy shit! TL, Uda. What the f What hit me? Lumet, TL. Wasn't the whiz for the whiz went away. Fuckers. Alright, well now I gotta go back there and see what that f on that platform now that I've hit the actual thing. Oh, there was it led right there. Son of a bitch. Ecto, Lume. Tial, Uda. All right. Well, good point to save. I'm going to leave this episode off here. In the next episode, we'll figure out what the fuck is going on and continue onward. If you like this video, you know what to do. I'd greatly appreciate it. And uh, thanks for watching. Later, y'all.